Australia to a halt. Wednesday saw 83,000 rugby fans cram into the ANZ Stadium at Queensland as they won the third and deciding game in this year's Rugby League State of Origin series. Each year, regardless of the club or even country they play in, players born in New South Wales and Queensland return home to determine who is the top dog in the sport. It's a fearsome occasion and one unique in the world of sports, former player and now BBC presenter Tolson Tullett explains why this is more than just a game. New South Wales and Queensland had always played a contest in some form or other, but when the rules changed and origin became the rule for eligibility, a light switch flicked and it became more than a contest. It became the Blues versus the Maroons, or in colloquial terms, the Cockroaches against the Banana Benders. Since its inauguration in 1980, many, including former Queensland player Adrian Vowles, believe the incident between Maroons captain Arthur Beetson and his club teammate, New South Wales' Mick Cronin, has a lot to do with what has happened since. He took that first game very seriously and, um, you know, and wanted to, to lead by example. I think he smacked his own teammate, Parramatta teammate Mick Cronin, around the chops just to say welcome, and then you know, everyone took to it. And uh, since then, it's just been... I know in, in our state of Queensland, it's been major. It's not just the gladiators on the playing field fighting for honour, it's the supporters as well, who dress up in their state's colours for the six-week period when the three matches are played and sling barbs at each other. Psychology plays a part in this contest, crossing gender and classes. Andy Barton is one of the world's top sporting psychologists and he's looked at how important the fans' role is in games like this. So they're, they're kind of watching their troops go off and represent them and they're, they're protecting the homeland. It, 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 it kind of gets to those kind of uh, um, degrees very often. So uh, you'll get coaches developing a, a sense of purpose around the team because it's something that drives people. You, you don't just go out and play. There's got to be a reason to play. And so when you have these traditions and and, uh, and you're kind of protecting your birthright to a certain extent, then it, it, it really drives the passions and it allows people to kind of really push their performance further because, because there's a reason to do so. So what is it like when a nation forms a team and plays? Well, for former Australian international Trent Waterhouse, playing for his country marks the pinnacle of his career, but he still knows how important his state is. It's always a massive, a massive thing to play for your country. Right? It's... it's you know, it's what you play sport for, you know. If you can play for, you know, represent your country, it's huge. But it's it's not far beyond, you know. It's it's pretty, it's a pretty massive deal down there, and um, you know, it's, it seems to get bigger every year. Now is also perhaps the time to mention that that man, Trent Waterhouse, was only the second ever person sent off in one of these matches. Right, that was pretty shot. No, Trent Waterhouse, third man in. Trent yep. Waterhouse. Yeah, the, it's the king hit on Price. On from behind, the two blokes were boxing on. White Initially, and... yes, we come through. Right. Here Third you go. In. Watch go. this. Go. Go. go, go, Trent. Well, he sent hey. Trent Waterhouse off here. It was sort of wrong place at the wrong time, mate. I didn't really do anything <laughs> to get sent off. Fires a pass at Morris. He gets it away then to, uh, to Hayne. Hayne inside one, inside another. And did he get the ball down? I think he has. It's another New South Wales try. There's an all in brawl as well. They're going at each other, Hammer and Tong. In the back play, out from the goalpost, there's a, there's a few going out. There's a Queensland player absolutely out cold here. I think it's Price. I come in, there was two guys fighting, and uh, uh, just as I got there to grab uh, the Queensland player, he got you know, he caught one on the chin, and I sort of fell down with him, and they must have thought I, that I knocked him out with a, with a um, head slam or something. Price is out cold, flat on his back. Well, Jane Jane thinks he scored a try. The New South Wales players are celebrating. The Queenslanders are commiserating. And as Bill Laurie would say, it's all happening here. Yeah, it was lucky it was at the end of the game anyway, so uh, they started going berserk, so it was probably a good thing that I was, <laughs> that I was safe and sound in the, in the dressing room, mate. Good on you, uh, Ref. That's it, they've got it right, Warren. Yeah, it's something I'll never forget, you know, the, the, the way the crowd and, and you know, the way they were, they were carrying on, it was, it was unbelievable, mate. I didn't think I was going to get out of there alive. And, uh, you know, as I walked up the tunnel, I got a, a beer thrown over my, <laughs> over my head. One of the more infamous moments, the games between these two are often hotly contested and the dislike between the two manifests at a young age. You've got two states that, when it comes to state of origin, they, they dead said hate each other. You know, and I grew up from that day, I listened to that, that game on a radio out in the bush and you know, I grew up hating New South Wales. That was, that was how I grew up and I know I wasn't the only one and, and that's just a great passion when it comes to these games and you can't, 
you know, you, can't, you just can't beat that. Everyone's got their club size, but when it comes to this, it's just people love getting dressed up in maroon and blue and just supporting their teams. The intensity of it, mate, you know, the, the speed of it, the intensity of it, it's, it's probably the, you know, the best players playing the game, giving it everything they got, and uh, you know, it's probably the, the pinnacle of rugby league. Well, it definitely is down there, and um, you know, it's probably the three biggest games of the year other than the grand final, and probably ten times faster than your normal, your normal game. And... Um, you see blokes do things that they don't normally do, and um, it's pretty special. For people from both states, the games will always hold the highest of importance. 80 minutes fighting for the person beside you, no matter who is opposite you. State against state, mate against mate. Tolson Tullet on State of the Origin. Sports Hour going to all corners of the world for the stories behind the sports with Caroline Barker and Lee James at Lords.